All right, hello grade eights. Welcome to lesson 7.1, coordinates of points on a grid. Find your textbooks on page 222. And the goal for this lesson is to graph points using the four quadrants of a Cartesian coordinate system. First thing we need to know is what are the four points, what are the four quadrants of a core Cartesian coordinate system? I'm gonna tell you, according to the textbook, the Cartesian coordinate system is a method for describing location on a plane by identifying first a distance right or left from a vertical number line. The y-axis is the vertical number line. And then the distance up or down from the horizontal number line, which is the x-axis. The axis inter intersect at point zero, zero, which is called the origin. The location of a point is represented by an ordered pair of coordinates. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I want you to forget you read that, okay? And I'll break it down for you. So, let's break it down for you step by step. Now, here's your example from the textbook. All right, so, so here's the key terms. I want you to know these things, okay? So, ordered pair, first of all, ordered pair. This is an ordered pair, all right? Here's an ordered pair right here. Here's an ordered pair. There's an ordered pair, all right? Now, let's take a look at this. Okay, let's take a look at this ordered pair over here. So, three. First, it's x, then y, all right? So, first, x, then y. So, if we're looking at this one, x, here's your x-axis, all right? So, maybe we'll just put that there. There's your x-axis, okay? And here's your y-axis. Follow along in this example if you want from your textbook. Okay, so here's the x-axis, okay, horizontal. Here's the y-axis, vertical. First number is always the y-axis. Sorry, the first number is always the x-axis, all right? So x, first number. So if we're looking at this number here, 4. So we're going here on your number line, very similar to the number line we were looking at a couple weeks ago, all right? So Number line, 4, 4, okay? Then what? What's the next coordinate? All right, next coordinate on the y-axis is 3. So this point right here, ordered pair, is 4, 3, okay? Now, let's take a look. Okay, well, actually, here's the origin, okay? The origin would be, let's just put that here, okay? Here's your origin right there is your origin, okay? Remember that's your origin. Now, what's what here? Now, these are quadrants here, okay? First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, okay? Notice the direction they're going in. They're going counterclockwise, all right? First quadrant, all the numbers are going to be positive and positive. That's why this term that we're looking at here is four and three. So this number is positive, that number is positive. All right, first coordinate is positive and positive. All right, second quadrant, okay, next one over. All right, it's negative and positive. Okay, so first x, you see negative numbers here. Then y, you see positive numbers. So that's the way the pair is going to be ordered negative and then a positive. Next quadrant over, the third quadrant will be negative, negative. So both numbers will be negative. X first, negative numbers. Notice, okay, then the y, y axis, all negative numbers. So all these numbers, negative and negative. And finally, the fourth quadrant, positive, okay, X first, then negative, Y, Okay, vertical will be positive, negative. See how that works? Now, another thing to think about here when we're dealing with the quadrants here is they're opposite to one another. Across the plane, they're opposite. Notice these are all positive and positive. Well, if we go across the Cartesian coordinate grid, okay, we go to the other side opposite to it, okay, notice these are all negative and negative. So first and third quadrants are, are opposite to one another. First quadrant is positive and positive. Third quadrant is negative, negative. Okay? Here, second quadrant is negative and positive. And the fourth quadrant will be positive and negative. Okay? These are things you got to know. 
okay see how they work within the grid work with each other all the numbers are working together here okay so they work in this direction okay counterclockwise and notice the opposites are true okay got that good okay again I don't expect you to get this all in one shot get it down don't expect you to understand it completely okay that's what tomorrow's for we're gonna we're gonna review all right now we'll go through this again in class this this example in particular okay so let's go let's go forward okay name the coordinates of each point now I've brought I flew this one over here and this is a question in your textbook okay so let's take a look at a all right what's a all right so a all right so a x first x first what's what's a x negative 3 okay so a is negative 3 x first remember your order point or your x and then your y always all right then what okay then we're looking at second number okay second number y axis 0 okay 3 0 okay understand how we did that first x okay first x 3 and it's on the plane so the y axis 0 boom there you go okay b first number first number x axis negative 1 okay negative 1 all right y axis y negative 3 all right let's look at c how about c all right how about c now we put these numbers in brackets there's a reason for that i'm going to go through this in class okay but there's a reason we do this type of bracket and then we're going to move on in this unit it's a different type of bracket so use rounded brackets to def define these numbers here okay c c x zero zero good all right and the y what's going on with the y did i get that right yes i did get the y is three okay okay notice you go up it's three x is zero all right and finally d okay d x axis four okay y axis one all right good okay so everybody understands how we got that rewind look at it again okay and it's number four in your textbook so try it for yourself okay but remember first quadrant positive positive second quadrant is right here second quadrant okay this is positive is uh, negative x then positive third negative x negative y fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative okay getting that okay there's a lot here okay so I don't expect you to get it all in one shot so I'm going to review all right now what is this what did we graph here you will be occasionally asked to draw something okay using the coordinate grids and what we have here we got ourselves a polygon okay and here's all the numbers okay that we went through here okay they all match up nice nice and easy all right so that's it for now okay get this down go back again there's a lot here and um you know we uh, follow along for the rest of the unit so so we can keep on track all right so i'll be around to help and hope you uh, like this one probably not because there's a lot here all right see you in class see ya